Hello everyone and welcome to Exynos's Market Outlook, where we'll be discussing some ideas for trades for this week. Joining us today we have Stanislav Bernikov. Thank you very much, Stan, for joining us. Uh, thank you, Michael, for having me. So the first thing is the ideas for this week. Which instruments do you think, Stan, are going to be in focus and which possible directions are we going to be looking at for them? Specifically, I'm monitoring crude oil, well, like, uh, you know, for the, for the entire January, because if you take a look at the chart of crude oil, you see the same pattern which appears over and over again. So whenever it reaches the new high, it consolidates for a while, then we have a breakout which pushes it to the new high again and again. So that happens because crude oil is driven by the strong uh, strong demand, the strong buying activity usually. And that's not unusual to see the breakout happening even at the historical high. So that's on my list. Uh, we don't know exactly how uh, the market will behave. Maybe it will break out sooner. Maybe first it will uh, tend to you know, show the uh, false breakout of the lower boundary of this triangle but still i think that it might be quite a bullish trade for this week and the primary narrative that we have in focus at the moment are we still looking at inflation or are we looking more towards monetary policy at the moment i think monetary policy is in focus this week because we had this shift towards more hawkish statements and hawkish policy from Fed. If you take a look at the current chart, uh, this is a graph actually, 88.6% probability of traders believe that we will have an interest rate hike next meeting. That's actually quite a high number, which uh, hasn't seen before in January. So that means that it's quite hawkish and we have several outcomes talking about that. For example, stocks gain some optimism with that because they see the Fed will take action to fight the inflation and gold experiences some pressure, some difficulties to go higher as an inflation protection. So probably, yes, Fed policy is in focus while inflation is temporarily at the back seat of the agenda. We also have the Bank of England and the European Central Bank meeting this week. And of course, we've got the NFP on Friday. So how do you think that these releases and news are possibly going to affect markets towards the end of the week? So let's take a look at the forecast. We have a, a 238,000 uh, uh, payrolls as a forecast for this Friday for, for January. So let's see how it works in case the number will be stronger or weaker. We might see some volatility in the equity markets. However, I would be very cautious even if the number is strong because uh, when we have such correctional phase of the market with relatively high volatility in VIX, so it's it's not uncommon to see uh, big fluctuations and the big sell-offs which happen out of nowhere. So I would be very cautious protecting my positions. I will not leave it without any stop. And uh, well, like always, but specifically during that time. Great. So the key instrument that we have in focus is crude oil, which seems to be ready to break out upward. That's the first one. And the narrative that's primarily in focus now is the Fed's shift to more hawkish policy. And over the next few days of the run up to the NFP, markets are likely to be somewhat more calm as traders generally plan what to do and consider whether they want to enter or exit trades before the big release. So thank you very much, Stan, for having joined us and given your valuable insights today. Thank you, Michael. Have a good trading week, everyone.